Good evening everyone. Uh, it is day 27, 27th of January um, and if you are not aware today is Holocaust Memorial Day. Um, on this day, uh, I don't know the exact date because um, my memory isn't great and that was something I read earlier while I was working. Uh, Russian soldiers um, happened upon the horrors um, of what happened in, or what was happening in Auschwitz. Um, and of course, then everything else in all the other uh, concentration camps was discovered. Um, today's poem, as um, you may have guessed by the fact that I'm mentioning this, um, is on a related theme. Um, something I'm really liking about this book of poetry is that the poems are relating to specific days that are recognised in our calendar. Um, I really appreciate that we've recognised Martin Luther King Jr. Day, um, little things like Australia Day, Burns Night, it's there's a lot happening in January a lot of things recognized and celebrated commemorated um so there's probably going to be a lot more stuff as we move through the year um some wonderful happy celebrations and others much more somber like we've got today um so I appreciate you bearing with me with ups and downs um and so um, today's poem is um, it's called The Shape of Anne Frank's Soul and it's by someone called Louise Greig and the blurb ahead of the poem reads as follows Anne Frank, a young Jewish girl from Amsterdam, was only 15 when she died at Bergen-Belsen. Her diary, published posthumously in 1947, offers an extraordinary first-hand account of life under Nazi occupation. 27th of January is now remembered as Holocaust Memorial Day and commemorates the liberation of Auschwitz, the most notorious of the Nazi concentration camps, on this day in 1945. Thank you, book. Um, 1945, it doesn't seem like there's not much time as I don't feel we're as far away from this in time as we should be um, this is the shape of Anne Frank's soul by Louise Craig what shape does my soul take is it round like the moon pale and ghostly suspended above me or is it a dark pool at my feet, an ellipse, deep and infinite? Or is my soul a square, a bare room somewhere, left behind? Or a book lined in velvet, only to let rare thoughts fill it? Perhaps my soul is a shape, only fit for a soul. A blanket, a bed, an empty bowl. Or not a shape at all, but words on the wind's gust. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Very powerful. Um, that was the the shape of Anne Frank's soul by Louise Craig. Um, I think I'm going to call it that. I hope you've all had um, a settled day and I hope you're able to have a restful evening. Um, I love you folks. Look after each other, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.